Designing Effective Compensation System 2. We all know compensating variation is the change in wealth required to leave a consumer's well-being unchanged when price changes. Compensating differential is a term used in labor economics to analyze the relation between the wage rate and the unpleasantness, risk or other undesirable attributes of a particular job. In this lesson, we will learn regarding internal compensation system, job evaluation system and methods of job evaluation. After going through this presentation, you should be able to define internal compensation, discuss job evaluation system, explain conventional methods, clarify non-conventional methods. Internal consistency refers to comparison amongst jobs or skill levels inside a single organization. Jobs and skills are compared in terms of their relative contributions to the organization's objectives. Internal consistency policies affect all three compensation objectives. Pay relationships within the organization affect employee decisions to stay with the organization. By motivating employees to choose increased training and greater responsibility in dealing with customers, pay relationships indirectly affect the efficiency of the workforce and hence the effectiveness of the total organization. The purpose of job evaluation is to determine the relative worth of jobs within an organization. A systematic comparison can define an internal job hierarchy that ranks jobs in terms of their relative contribution to organizational objectives. The organization must decide which of the several evaluation procedures to use. Whether one evaluation procedure will be used throughout the organization and if the procedure selected uses compensable factors, which factors are to be included and how they are to be weighted. The objectives of job evaluation are to establish a basic pay and grading structure, create simple and transparent pay structures, fit new jobs into existing pay structures, reduce the number of grievances over relative wages. The process of job evaluation normally involves communicating information, deciding the techniques to be used, ensuring the scheme is free from any bias on grounds of race, gender, disability and religion or belief, setting a realistic timetable, analyzing jobs and writing job descriptions as a basis for evaluation and determining the grading structure after evaluation. The methods and systems of job evaluation are divided into different categories which are as follows. Controversial methods are the variety of job evaluation systems that are in use and all of them are modifications of four basic systems. These are the ranking system, the grading system, the factor comparison system and the point system. All of them are similar to each other in certain respect and are applicable to all types of jobs at all levels. Innovative or non-conventional systems are quite innovative and use concepts of management, decision making and related aspects as factors for establishing internal equity. Conventional non-quantitative methods divided into two. First is ranking method and second is classification method. In a ranking method, Simple and easy job descriptions are made and sorted in the sequential order of their worth as a whole. Ranking of all the jobs is made easier by first identifying those that come at two extreme ends of the scale and locating the rest in the middle region. A committee carried out this ranking more than once and the results of repeated ranking are pooled to arrive at the final ranking. Classification method is sometimes called as predetermined grading method. A limited number of job grades are established on the basis of knowledge about the existing jobs in the organization. Each of these grades is defined in terms of general functions and qualifications required. This is followed by development of job descriptions which briefly state the nature of duties of each job.
In points rating method, the whole job is analyzed through 5 to 8 factors and over 20 to 50 sub-factors based on requirements. These factors or sub-factors are given points which total out as the overall position of the jobs. Though it is not scientific, it is systematic method. This method involves job analysis through interview or questionnaire and actual observations. Writing the job description from data collected through job analysis and checking them up with department supervisors concerned for accuracy and development of an appropriate plan which involves selection and definition of factors and giving due weightage to them. Deciding on the number of degrees and defining them and assigning point values to degrees. Factor comparison method was originally developed in 1926 as an offshoot point rating. This method therefore incorporates some of the principles of point rating but differs substantially from it in its use of benchmark jobs and its method of comparing jobs and fixing wage rates. The first task in applying this method is to select and describe clearly the factors to be used. The factor comparison method involves the following steps. Selecting benchmark jobs, ranking benchmark jobs by factors, allocating money values to factors and ranking the other jobs and wage fixing. Non-conventional methods are sophisticated and are based on subtle aspects of management like decision making etc. But they are required to evaluate some managerial and or special or conceptual types of jobs. Time span of discretion method system uses the concept that all make decisions in their work and the effect of such a decision on the work or organization is felt after a certain period of taking a follow up action. In a decision band method, the type of decision to be made by the job is considered and placed in the applicable band. In the direct consensus method, the workman and evaluator reach the value by mutual consensus. Guide chart profile method is for managerial pay. It emphasizes on three critical factors. A. Know-how. B. Problem solving. C. Accountability. Activity evaluates the jobs of a constable in the army, police, and paramilitary and traffic police by any two methods. In Urvik or profile method, the point and ranking methods are applied with an addition of consensus method. It is not a new method, but advancement in evaluation with the addition of employees or union to a very high degree. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Job description refers to comparisons amongst jobs or skill levels inside a single organization. Right or wrong? Wrong. Job evaluation is the method of determining the internal worth of jobs in an organization. Right or wrong? Right. The purpose of internal consistency is to determine the relative worth of jobs within an organization. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied so far. A compensating differential, which is also called a compensating wage differential or an equalizing difference, is defined as the additional amount of income that a given worker must be offered in order to motivate them to accept a given undesirable job relative to other jobs that worker could perform. Internal consistency refers to comparison amongst jobs or skill levels inside a single organization. Jobs and skills are compared in terms of their relative contributions to the organization's objectives. The purpose of job evaluation is to determine the relative worth of jobs within an organization. Ranking and classification methods are non-quantitative and points rating and factor comparison methods are quantitative. Job evaluation methods can be divided into conventional methods which includes ranking method, classification method, point rating method and factor comparison method and innovative methods which includes discretion method, decision band method, direct consensus method, 
guide chart profile method and urvik or profile method.